Yo, yo, yo. It's D. Arthur. Um, so I, I just came back from the gym. If you guys can tell right there. Uh, right there. And, um, so I was working out. And then this girl, um, so I was working on one of those machines with the, pull, the pulley machines. And then, um, this girl, me and her, this girl, uh, make eye contact. And then, um, and then she's like, uh, are you using this, uh, this, one of those, uh, those, uh, inch, uh, machines, those, uh, items where it's like, um, it, it puts basically like, it, it basically puts like five pounds on, um, the weight. So you're, you're lifting like five pounds, your weight, five pounds of weight. And then, um, so she asked me while I'm working out, she's like, are you using this? And we could take it for what it is. Some people could say that um, it was for she was doing it just so she could start a conversation with me, or two, she could actually been using that. She actually wanted to use it. it could, you take it for what it is, but that's not the point. The point is when she asked me that question. What I did was I asked her. I gave her a question back. I retorted it. I said, um, I said. What are those actually for? I never, I, I always see those, but I never uh, see what it's actually for. And that question that I asked opened up a new, a whole new uh, sensation of just talking back and forth. Like it made her smile and giggle a little bit. It was a little banter tease, tease a little bit, but yeah, that's what it is. Um, When it comes to females and attraction <clears throat> and getting girls and having plenty having an abundance mindset you have to come into the game as you're here you're here to uh fill her you're you're, you're here to to fill her emotional gap you're here um to feel to fill her, her her uh her motions she she satisfy your uh sexual pleasure and then you satisfy her how you make her feel and how you uh carry herself and there's a, there's a 50 50 balance she exchanges uh sexual pleasure for you while you exchange your you exchange uh her um her emotional her emotional uh, reactions to things and how you uh stimulate her emotions and then it's a back and forth, um, back and forth kind of dance together, together, everybody together. Um, both of you guys are fulfilling your, um, your psychological, your hardwired needs. And it's a, it's a fusion. It's a fusion together, together. You guys, you're feeling this thing for her and she's doing this thing for you and you both are enjoying it because psychologically hardwired men and females are hardwired for companionship and to express to express companionship and emotions together so uh when the woman when she does give you some choosing signals to come and approach her observe share and ask those are the three philosophies i go by <clears throat> I don't like asking her about, do I know you from somewhere? Do I know you from this? Blah, blah. I like to be present. So I ask her, I observe the situation on my round. Let's say if I was at the gym, I observe, let's say uh, another thing. She had shoes that I wore before, some Adidas shoes. I observed her shoes. I shared, I only um told her something specific only to her. And then I asked her a question to open up the conversation for more. So I observed her shoes. I shared. I shared that um, I have those same shoes. And then I asked them, "Where did you get them from?" And then that question opened up a whole conversation. Then you can say, um, "Then you can say, uh, I, I she got it from this." And then you can just keep going back and forth, asking her questions, trying to find some spots in her some emotional uh triggers in her to kind of feel on if that makes sense um 
when you're when you're asking her questions don't ask her like logical thinking questions ask her questions that make her think of a time where she was feeling very good about herself and then stroke that uh feeling muscle a little bit just keep stroking it until she feels like she until you can feel the dopamine in you for asking her and she can feel the dopamine dopamine from um receiving the questions and then it's just a back and forth uh conversation of you giving her something good to feel about and she uh receiving it and vice versa does that make sense <clears throat> and then you can close it like a salesman you can close it uh hi hey i have to go because i'm a complete man i have to go and do something let me get your number so we can hang out some other time and then she'll remember you boom that's it you close and you're off your way you're not waiting for her also another thing <clears throat> this another thing that i might talk about a little bit later that I might go deeply into have more conversations on the phone with women and anytime she asks you if uh what are you doing never say you're not doing anything even if you're not doing anything say you're doing something because you have to show her that you're busy and your time is valuable and you have to realize that once your time is valuable she can't take you for granted because you're a man on a per mission on a purpose and you're not gonna wait you're not gonna wait for her basically you're on your stuff and your time is valuable so anytime she gets to spend with you she appreciates it this is the type of thinking that you have to have if you want to attract high quality and plenty women into your life you can't have this disease called oneitis and I will be the first person to tell you that before I had this disease called one-nitis. But no more. Semen retention helps you cure the um, the disease of one-nitis because it makes you realize that you have high value. The, the more you retain, the higher value you um, you have. So you're not you're not going to be um, you're not gonna be so one you're not going to be set on one you're going to see there's a um, abundance and there's any girl would be lucky to have you and talk to you and your time is valuable does that make sense like comment subscribe give me your thoughts and feelings remember to observe observe the situation around you the present situation around you share share something and then ask her to open up a conversation and then it's a vice versa you're asking her questions that make her feel some sort of way you're going up and down with your feeling and then you're closing hey i gotta go let's continue this conversation at lunch or or, or anything that you you like to do so like i said observe share and ask stroke her emotional her emotional muscle and then close and go on your way because you're a busy man and you have things to do so um if you have questions like i said comment down below subscribe like share it with other people and let me see tell me uh how it works out for you